And I know that you... Oh my God, so obviously, boom, finish blending up there, right? Well, there's a few things going on. Yeah, okay. Like, you do have a history of... Uh, what? It's called, like, maybe four, four escorts in my life, so that's a fucking history. Okay, well, thank you for telling me that. When did you... Five minutes ago, you were denying having any history. <laughs> right, no, I did which we, we, we talked. So that's what we're trying to figure out here, Curtis. We're trying to figure out if you're guilty of this. You know, like we're trying to figure I out. haven't called any escorts to my fucking house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I've never met anyone here for a few fucking years. Mm -hmm. Okay. few pictures to show you here as well. I wanted to show you this ad. Do you recognize that ad? No. So one thing that we're going to, to have to do when we search your phone um, we're going to look for any type of application that you may have used that would alter the appearance of a phone number, that kind of thing. Did you ever hear spoofing? Where if you use your phone to dial another one, but somehow manipulate the phone number to appear differently? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So we're going to be examining your phone for that. Have you ever used that type of application? Understand that. I think you you have used one of those applications. And I think you used it when you contacted me. I never threatened anybody in an inquiry or whatever. Okay. Did you meet I haven't met anyone. You have me around when I walk around all how long I I don't even know what we talked about it like three and a half hours ago. Well, we discussed I asked, like, I get fucking rest first, too. Okay. I'm tired of the bag. Mm -hmm. I want to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Part of what you told me, uh, Curtis, is that when she arrived at, she noticed that the gate is locked. And when she got out of the gate, or when she got out of her car, to unlock the gate, somebody appeared behind her. And he had his face masked, and he was wearing some type of... The way she described it, it may not have been that's how it was perceived to her. So she provided some more descriptions of the clothing. And she described the male that was holding, his, holding a gun, he came out of the woods. Um, now, initially, the male wasn't pointing the gun at her. He's pointing it up in the air. So, I think that's a good thing. It means to me that the person that committed that woods wasn't trying to kill her. Maybe he's trying to scare her for some reason. And so that's kind of the reason why I'm trying to figure out is why, why would that happen in the first place? Why would someone come out of the woods to try and scare a, an escort? 
I mean, let's call it, you know what, let's call it spade a spade. Um, this girl's obviously an escort. She's coming up to some place that she doesn't really know, and she's going down some dirt driveway. I think a lot of people with common sense may even predict something like that happened. But for whatever reason, the male wasn't shooting at her, he wasn't pointing the gun at her, he was just holding it up in the air. So it means that the person has a conscience. It just means that, to me, something happened to cause that, that male to do that. And that's what I want to figure out. I know that there's been several escorts that came up to that property at uh, they were, they claimed to have been directed up there. Ooh. Here are the slug fragments inside of the tire. So it means to me that at some point a firearm was discharged and through canvassing some of the local residents they heard of a firearm being discharged. The people that live on that road. Mm -hmm. If you did contact your Curtis, and there's another story behind all of this, like I've, keep, I've kept telling you, if there is another story behind all this, let us know so we can investigate that. If you didn't do this, help us out so we can clear you. If you did do this, if you did contact her, what happened? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're getting her side of it. And for all I know, something else could have happened that night where maybe you felt the need to defend yourself. No, you should have pointed the gun at someone, you know. Bullshit. What you're saying. What I'm saying is... No, that that's what you're saying. I got you. Sorry? Oh what it, what it is that I'm saying is that I think you have a history with inviting escorts up there to that property. I think that you have a history in being with escorts, and one of which you got into a physical altercation with, or at least that was the accusation. You had a more recent experience with an escort who was trying to extort you for your truck. She claimed that the bill wasn't paid and she was going to steal your truck. And that's when we got involved, the police, and we investigated that. Um, I believe that you live close by to that address. You have access to the I'm And I believe there's going to be a history of you contacting her on that phone. The only thing I don't know is what caused you to do that.
I mean, if, you know, we'll have to rely on the evidence, but the evidence won't tell us what was going on in your mind. Like when we analyze your phone, it'll show us evidence, but it's not going to tell us what was going on in your mind at the time. If there was any incident that happened, or what, what caused this to occur. The only place I can get that from is you. And I'm going to bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day here, we're not investigating murder, okay? That's not what we're investigating. She's... This escort is fine. She had, she wasn't shot. She was a little scared, but she's not dead. I haven't discharged the player. Mm -hmm. I haven't. So okay. So what would that be? I'd like to go to bed. Well, if you, if that's true, you know, we'll find that evidence. So we'll 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 be able to determine that you haven't fired anything. She'll be back in, in the house tomorrow. Is there any evidence of anyone else, like any other escorts that we're going to find out similar information? Have you threatened anyone? I haven't threatened anyone. Okay. Well, you don't. So that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of here. Like, I'll be honest, Curtis, I don't sit this long with too many people, but you seem like a decent guy. You really don't have any criminal record. I think you are probably charged with fraud or something years ago, and that went away. You are never convicted of it. So you have no criminal record. You really don't have that much history with us. Um, you have some in, in rich metals, but it's not that bad. So I'm trying to keep to myself. Mm -hmm. I believe you. But something happened somewhere. I've never, never seen that girl in my life. So. Okay. So who would be inviting escorts up to that property? That specific property. Like, who else would do that? Chris, I'm just, uh, I just need a quick second and my, my colleagues just come back from the scene, so uh, just give me two seconds and I'll be right back, okay?
I'll get you another one in a bit. Have you ever used the computers in the house? No. Ever? No, we don't use the computers in the house. Okay. We've had to seize them under warrant. Hey! Wait! Oh, did I just go to the house? Sit. Wait, fuck! What about my mouth? No. We're here to talk about it. You losing your cool is not helping. I'm sorry, I've been trying. Greg, I got a, a... Put the chair up right. Sorry. Sorry. What happened again? Curtis, you're upset right now because of one night in jail. Are you aware of the, the sentencing for a firearms offense? We're taking this really seriously. The minimum sentence for a firearms offense is four years in jail. Do you realize that? How are you going to react if you have to go to jail? We're trying to provide you an opportunity here to get ahead of this and provide your side of the story. I'm not going to jail. Talk to me about that. I'm not going to be stuck in a room like that. Well, talk to me. last year. Did you meet this girl? I didn't meet a girl. I do not meet a girl. Did you text her? Truthfully, did you text her? Yes or no? I texted a girl. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me the truth. Do you want to shake my hand? Sure. Thank you. And I never fired a firearm. Okay. I never threatened anyone. So what did happen? I can't get to work. I can't, I got sent out. I was supposed to go and fucking work. Without a fucking phone, how am I going to get the phone call to go to work? Can they call your mom's place? Like, no, like, fuck. And I was going to go back to my room. There, I told you what you wanted to know. I told you what I was fucking about. Now you can want more. Like, no. See, all what I want to know. No, I want to know. No, no, no. The whole story. No. What happened? Whole story of what happened. About what? Like, it's really like, like, you know, Grace, go, 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 go back to my room, please. I was here, you thought that I was, if we could go for a smoke first. You said, no, come talk to me first. So I talked to you first. Right? We, had, we shook hands. But when I asked her, please, can I go back to my room? But we would. But what was it we were talking about? Hi, Curtis. 
Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. I'm Corporal Kovacs. I work with Rich. Can you give me a couple minutes to talk to you guys? No. Just a couple? No. Because I've been watching what's been going on here, and uh, so I watch in another room, okay? So. So, yeah, I, you no, feel both can have a good laugh at it. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah, but they're just great things. Curtis, I've heard a lot worse, okay? What, what I heard today. That, that I'm not laughing about anything, okay? I understand you live in a rural area. You don't have a lot of people around you. I don't even have a fucking vehicle. So it makes you very limited on what you can right. do out there. Right. The reason I don't have a fucking vehicle is because I got, I'm trying to fucking help you guys out. And I got a fucking vehicle fucking inspection because I've been working on my fucking truck. I was missing three walnuts, three fucking walnuts, and I was on my way to work on to pick them up. And my vehicle was still up on fucking jack stands because I can't afford to fix it. Okay. And I was being, as I was being, I was cooperative with you guys. I turn around, I get that. You know? Okay. So, you know what? Fuck it! Curtis, you need to calm down a bit, okay? I'm sorry that I apologize for losing my temper, okay? This is the way I feel. I understand you. No, I don't. This is it. No. Okay, Curtis, I can understand why you're upset right now. The Upset? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even upset yet. We need to calm down then. So, Curtis. What time is it? Two o'clock. Curtis, I appreciate you being honest with Richard here, okay? It takes a lot to talk about this type of stuff, okay? Because it's private stuff. It's between, it's your personal stuff. I get it. But a lot's been happening out in that area. You've been texting these girls. You've obviously been... Just hear me out. No. Curtis, you're not the only one who's been texting girls and asking them to come to a certain